Here are some exercises or examples on cylinders. Kung medyo mahina yung volume, pwede nyo namang lakasan yung volume. So again, if you want to try answering the exercises first, you may pause. So tuloy nyo na lang kapag gusto nyo nang makita yung solutions. Also, if you want to see the solutions, you may continue playing. So, siguro ready na kayong makita yung solutions. So, we proceed to the first item. So, letter A. Sketch the graph of y squared equals 9x in R2. Letter B. Sketch a portion of the graph of y squared equals 9x in R3. Okay, so let's do letter A. So, the graph of y squared equals 9x in R2 is just a parabola. Okay. We get some points on this parabola. If x equals 0, then y equals 0. So, 0, 0 is a point on the graph. If x equals 1, then y squared equals 9. So, y is plus minus 3. So, points din sa graph ang 1, 3 at uh, 1, negative 3. So, ready na tayong sketch yung parabola. So, R2 ito. So, usual x and y axis lang yan. So, we plot the points 0, 0, 1, 3, and 1, negative 3. We just connect the points to form the parabola. So, ito na yung sketch ng graph ng y squared equals 9x in R2. So, we do letter B. Uh, yung graph naman ng y squared equals 9x in R3, hindi na yan parabola. So, in R3, yung graph ng uh, equation na yan uh, is already a uh, cylinder. Uh, right cylinder, yung tawag. Uh, it has a directrix and rulings. So, the directrix of the cylinder uh, has the same equation y squared equals 9x pero nasa xy plane. So, yung directrix ay isang uh, parabola on the xy plane. We get some points on the directrix. Kasama dyan yung 0, 0, 0, 1, 3, 0, and 1, negative 3, 0. So, parang ito lang yung sa R2 kanina, yung mga points na dagdag lang yung Z coordinate na 0 kasi nandun na sila sa plane na Z equals 0. Now, the rulings of the cylinder are parallel to the Z axis. Kasi yung equation ng cylinder wala namang Z doon. Okay. So, para mas maganda yung uh, pagkakasketch natin ng portion ng graph, uh, we consider uh, a trace uh, on a plane na ang equation ay uh, z equals constant. Uh, for example, yung trace sa z equals 5. Okay. Since walang z dun sa equation na y squared equals 9x, yung trace ay uh, pareho pa rin yung equation. Pero nasa plane, z equals 5. So it is a parabola on that plane. So kuha din tayo ng ilang points on the trace. 
uh, some points on the trees are 0, 0, 5, 1, 3, 5, and 1, negative 3, 5. We just replace the z coordinates of these points by 5. Uh, by the way, yung 0, 0, 0 siya yung vertex doon sa directrix. Tapos yung 0, 0, 5 siya yung vertex doon sa trace. On the plane, z equals 5. So we are now ready to sketch a portion of this cylinder. Since magda-drawing na tayo ng surface, uh, we are now drawing on the 3D space. So even the traces here, uh, we will now draw on the 3D space. Okay. So we plot the points 0, 0, 0, 1, 3, 0, and 1, negative 3, 0. Connect these points and we have a uh, portion of the directrix, a portion of the parabola. Then we plot the points 0, 0, 5, 1, 3, 5 and 1, negative 3, 5. We connect these points to form the portion of the trace on the plane z equals 5. So, portion siya ng parabola. Okay. After this, we now draw the rulings. Uh, yung rulings, ito, uh, parallel sila sa z-axis. Okay. And this is now the portion of the graph of the cylinder. Meron lang konting shading para mas makita natin yung graph. Uh, hindi naman kailangan yung shading. And also, only a portion of the graph is sketched here. Uh, because the whole graph uh, extends pa yan. nag extend pa yan sa left at saka sa right. Tapos, meron pang portion dito sa taas nito at sa baba nito. Also, for the trace, yung kanina, z equals 5 yung kinuha natin plane. Uh, any non-zero constant will do. So, pwede rin kumuha ng trace on uh, z equals 3, z equals 2, uh, z equals negative 2. Uh, basta any non-zero constant uh, will do. So, we are done already with the first item. So, we now proceed to the next item. So, next example natin. So, we sketch a portion of the graph of the cylinder y squared over 16 plus z squared over 9 equals 1. Okay. So, a cylinder merong directrix at merong rulings. So, the directrix of the cylinder so has the same equation. Uh, but on the YZ plane. So, that is an ellipse. So, ellipse uh, with the same equation, uh, but on the YZ plane. Okay, ellipse yan. So, meron yan na center. Uh, and it is centered at the point zero zero zero. So, we get some points on this directrix. If y equals 0, then z squared over 9 equals 1. So, z is plus minus 3. So, dadaan yan sa point na 0, 0, 3 and 0, 0, negative 3. Now, if uh, z equals 0, uh, then y squared over 16 equals 1. So y is uh, plus minus 4. So dadaan yung directrix sa point na 0, 4, 0. And 0, negative 4, 0. 
Note that the x coordinates of these points are zero, because it's on the yz plane. Okay. So, sa an naman parallel yung rulings. The rulings are parallel to the x axis. Kasi walang x doon sa equation ng cylinder. Again, para mas maganda yung pagkakasketch natin, uh, we consider a trace, uh, this time on the plane, na ang equation ay uh, x equals a constant. So, for example, we consider yung plane na x equals 3. Okay? Uh, the trace on the plane x equals 3 also has the same equation. y squared over 16 plus z squared over 9 equals 1. Yung graph nito on the plane x equals 3 is an ellipse. Uh, it has a center at 3, 0, 0. So, we get some points on this trace. Uh... 3, 0, 3 3, 0, negative 3 3, 4, 0 and 3, negative 4, 0 So we just replace the x coordinates of these points by 3 So we are now ready to sketch a portion of the cylinder okay, so, we so we again draw on the 3D space. Yan. So, the directrix is centered at 0, 0, 0. And, we plot the points 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, negative 3, 0, 4, 0, and 0, negative 4, 0. We connect these four points to form the ellipse, which is the directrix. Okay. Now, uh, for the trace on the plane x equals 3, center noon ay sa 3, 0, 0. Then, we plot the points 3, 0, 3, 3, 0, negative 3. 3, 4, 0 and 3, negative 4, 0 and we connect these points to form the ellipse which is the trace on the plane x equals 3 yung ellipse dun sa harap ito so after this we graph the rulings Parallel yan dapat sa x-axis. And then this is the sketch of a portion of the graph. Hindi naman kailangan na shading. So we are now done with uh, this item. So we now proceed with the next item. So sketch a portion of the graph of the cylinder z equals 2x minus 3. So, cylinder may directrix at meron ding ruling. So, the directrix of the cylinder has the same equation. Uh, z equals 2x minus 3. Uh, but this is on the xz plane. So, this is a line. So, some points on the directrix. If x equals 0, then z equals negative 3. So the line passes through the point 0, 0, negative 3. Uh, the y coordinate is 0 because this is on the xz plane. If z equals 0, then x is equal to 3 over 2. So the line also passes through the point 3 halves, 0, 0. So the rulings of the cylinder are parallel to the y-axis. 
then we find a trace on the plane uh, with the equation uh, y equals constant uh, let's say uh, y equals 5 okay so the trace on the plane y equals 5 has also the same equation uh, pero nasa plane y equals 5 so this is a line okay so some points on this trace are 0, 5, negative 3 and 3 halves 5, 0. So we just replace the y coordinates of the points on the directrix of, on uh, these points uh, by 5. Okay. So we are ready to sketch a portion of this cylinder. Uh, sa 3D space ulit tayo mag-sketch so we plot the points 0, 0, negative 3 and 3 halves 0, 0 connect these two points to have a portion of the directrix so portion siya ng line Next, we plot the points 0, 5, negative 3 and 3 halves 5, 0. Connect these points to form a portion of the trace on the plane y equals 5. So, portion din siya ng line. We now draw the rulings uh, parallel to the y-axis and then, ito na yung portion ng graph ng cylinder. So, optional din yung shading. Uh, yung uh, portion lang yung na-sketch kasi yung buong graph. mag extend pa yan, left and right. Uh, meron pa sa taas, meron pa sa baba. And actually, this uh, cylinder is actually a uh, plane. Okay. So we are now finished with the last item and that ends the part of the discussion on cylinders. If you have any questions about the topics, you can email your discussion teacher.